All right, this defeating Adventism video is something, it's like the last video I didn't plan on doing. It's a research study that I accidentally stumbled across and I found just absolutely fascinating. Uh, research study done by Loma Linda doctors at Loma Linda. It just, right, doesn't get any better than that. It's, you know, done by those in Mecca. So, we're going to start with uh, a quote here from a book. I'm going to use uh, Ellen White's Council on Diet and Foods. You're going to see a quote later, uh, Testimonies of the Church, Volume 5, will appear later. But this quote on councils uh, on diet and foods is really important. So look with me here on screen. She says what? Meat is not essential for health or strength. Else the Lord made a mistake when he provided food for Adam and Eve before their fall. All the elements of nutrition are contained in fruits, vegetables, and grains. Well, thank you for those wise words, Ellen. And I'm sure she's uh, rolling over in her uh, grave right now when she's going to read this uh, uh, study. So look with me here on the screen. We're going to look at this study. I'm going to blow it up on the next slide. But you can only see the title in the red box. Food Intake Diet and sperm characteristics in a blue zone. It's a Loma Linda study. Look with me here now as we blow up the heading of it, we can see the doctor's names. When I was reading this online, I could click on each one of those links and it would tell me where, who these doctors were and their affiliations. And look where they were all affiliated. Loma Linda University School of Medicine, period. Every single one of them. So this is a Seventh-day Adventist study. Let's look at the next slide here. We're going to march through each of these four sections. Let's just start with the objective. What, what do they tell us? What their objective of the study is what? Study examine the effect of lifelong vegetarian diet on male fertility and focused on vegetarians living in the Loma Linda Blue Zone, right? A demographic area long known for longevity. The objective was to compare sperm characteristics of vegetarian and non-vegetarian males. Let's go to the next slide here. The, how, how do they design the study? Well, you can see here it's 474 males and they did this from 2009 to 2013. So they had 26 vegetarians, but you know their diet included uh, dairy products, egg products. And then they had five strict vegans, no animal products whatsoever. 443 non-vegetarians. Now, I don't know. The study doesn't tell me why the disparity in, in, the, in the numbers, but, you know, hey, these are uh, your Seventh-day Adventist wise doctors who chose these N populations, N of 26, N of 5, N of 443. Well, let's look at the results. The results are going to be in these two pieces. We're going to see them on the next slide. We're going to look at this, uh, the results for the vegetarians and the results for the vegans. Let's start with the vegetarians. The vegetarians, you can see here, had a lower sperm concentration, 50.7, versus the non-vegetarians, 69.6. You know what that means? It's a 37.2% decrease. So not only did they meant measure concentration, but they measure something called motility, which is the power to move. And you can see here that the power of the sperms to move in male Seventh-day Adventists is 56% lower than non-vegetarians. Wow, that's significant. Let's move to the vegans. The vegans, they don't even tell us anything about sperm concentration. Uh, now, I find that very interesting. It had to have been, just been literally fallen off the chart. But when they, I mentioned the spegums, uh, vegans' uh, sperm ability to hyperactivity move. To hyper move, it's a 550% decrease over non-vegetarians. You know what that means? Vegan sperm, if it even exists, just, it doesn't move. It moves like pond water. And pond water doesn't move. Look with me here at the conclusions by these uh, brilliant Seventh-day Adventist uh, doctors. Actually, I'm glad they put this study out in 2016. It says what? Vegetable-based food intake decreased sperm quality. In particular, a reduction in sperm quality in male patients 
would be clinically significant and it would require further review. Furthermore, inadequate sperm hyperactivation in vegans suggested, suggested compromised membrane calcium selective channels. That doesn't sound, nothing about that sounds good. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, and they're looking at sperm counts, it's either in excess of 50% lower in terms of its quality and volume. And not only that, but its ability to move, it's also degraded. It just doesn't work, uh, vegans and vegetarians. Let's look at this uh, slide here. Remember what Ellen White said? In these letters, which I write in the testimonies I bear, I am presenting to you that which the Lord has presented to me. I do not write one article in the paper expressing merely my own ideas. They are what God has opened before me in vision. Let's look back here and review this slide. What did God open to her in vision? Meat is not essential for health or strength. Really, health. A 37% decrease in sperm concentration is healthy. A 56% decrease in vegetarian sperm mobility is healthy. And a 550% decrease in sperm power to move for vegans is healthy. I think the doctors at Loma Linda just refuted Ellen White right here. Ellen White said, what? Meat's not essential for health or strength. Yeah, it is. Else the Lord made a mistake. No, I think Ellen White made a mistake. I want you to look with me here. And we're going to finish it up here, this short video on this last slide. Let's look at this here. 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 4. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later days, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Well, what are these teachings of demons? Through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared, who forbid marriage, require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving. Oh, that's the teaching of demons. Requiring abstinence from foods, like meat. Because you can see in verse 4, for everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected if it's received with thanksgiving. Seventh-day Adventists, vegans, Vegetarians, look at this slide. Look at this scripture text. Look at it closely. Look at the left side in the graphic. Well, the top, actually, and, I, and I'm not even exaggerating, is what I just had uh, as a meal. I just had me a nice steak. Versus what? And you can see I spelled it out here. Gynecomastia. You know what? Vegan and vegetarianism creates all kinds of psychological and other physical problems that this study didn't even mention. If you do not know what gynecomastia is, go look it up. I'm sure that um, you've seen it. You may be an experience in it. But Seventh-day Adventists, look at the scripture verse again. The doctrine of demons is what? Requiring abstinence from foods. Ellen White requires in this book abstinence from foods. It is a doctrine of demons. Just quit it. Not only for your own health, which is has nothing to do with your relationship to Christ per se, but if you follow this woman, she is leading you astray. She is leading you from Christ. She is teaching doctrines of demons. It is time for you to recognize exactly what she is teaching and admit it. Doctrines of demons.